Good morning, welcome to this week's vlog. It is Monday, the, the 12th of August, 93 degrees outside, 11.50 a.m. How are you today? I'm very nervous. I don't wanna start the vlog off this way, but I have to go to the dentist today and I'm nervous. I, I do not like going to the dentist, not at all. You hear mama over there. You okay, mama? She's doing her best Darth Vader impersonation today. Um, you okay? You need to go potty? No? I gotta go pick up her refill today. Um, I have to tell you, I am appreciating these for the dogs. I, I really, so, the, really the only way I can tell there is a marked improvement is the gas. I talked about this last week, I'm gonna talk about it again this week. The gas has been reduced by probably 95%, so I am super happy about that. Um, yes, we have tried changing our dog's diets, food, things like that. They won't eat, and I know a lot of you are like, they will when they get hungry enough. I know you think that, but they're seniors, and I'm gonna feed them what they want. One second. New potty. Anyway, um, we've just seen a huge, huge difference in them, and I am very happy about that. I'm really happy about it. Uh, we haven't heard as much, we haven't heard any grumbling in their tummies. So yeah, I talked last week, I was gonna order this, the rest of this set, I need to get that done. I just haven't gotten there yet. And my budget's kind of tight this week because I've got to order a, Millie's, a refill of Millie's medication and it's really expensive. So um, I may have to order the rest of the supplements, which I really wanna try on them next week. So we will see. We will see. And when I say next week, I mean on payday, not, you know, not on payday. So you know what I mean. Anyway, um, so yeah, my appointment is at one o'clock for the dentist. I went for a nice run this morning on the treadmill because it's still blazing hot here. And um, uh, it may be hotter in some other parts, but we're super humid here. So when you have the humidity and the heat, it's just miserable. It really is. I know a lot of people get that depression that comes in the winter time, seasonal depression. It's got a specific name and that escapes me at the moment. And I, I think mine is the opposite. I think I feel that way in the summer. I've been feeling so drained, so tired, so overrun, and so just exhausted lately and I really think it's the heat I think it's the summer it is my least favorite time of the year and I don't know I know that some of you in your where you live where it snows all the time you just long for the summer but this summer is just not it's not pleasant it is so unpleasant here it is so hot so um anyway and I have a ton to get done because I need to go help my husband at work tomorrow because it's so hot that he literally is having trouble. And we are having heat advisories right now because our high tomorrow, today is like 103, and tomorrow is close to the same, and he has to unload that truck. No, today's Monday. That's Wednesday, not tomorrow. Wednesday I'm talking about this, that I'll need to go and help him. Um, so I am, I'm gonna go and try and help him. Neither one of us can handle the heat very well. Um, so I just, I'm gonna do what I can to help him. But let me just tell you, I mean, we've been talking four minutes about the heat. It's so hot, it's just hot. And I, I'm grumpy about it, okay? How long has this last? <laughs> I think like a couple hours. I hate, I hate your family. <laughs> it's like, this part of my body is dead. Well, that's, it's not dead, it's just numb. Big fat lips. You don't have big fat lips. It feels like it. It may feel like it, but you don't have the big fat lips. Hey, I am headed to Rob's office. It's 1222, it's Wednesday. And I'm headed to his office to help him unload. It has been, or load the trailer. It has been a minute since I've done that. Normally, I don't really help him when it's this hot, but it is just so hot, he needs help. Um, there are people who are accustomed to working in heat like this. We are not. 
So, I mean, we live in this type of heat, but today we are under heat advisories. I mean, I, we have a heat index, I think of like 113 or 112 or something ridiculous like that. So, um, we, I'm coming to help him. We have plenty of water. I'm bringing lunch with us so that we'll have some lunch while we're there and um, have lunch together when I get there. And then um, we are going to load his trailer. It usually takes some time to do that. Uh, I am very worried about the, the heat. I mean, it's 95 now, but the heat of the day usually hits around two o'clock. So, I don't know. My seat is too close. So, I, I'm concerned about it. I'm a little concerned about it, but I think we're going to be okay. I hope. Anyway. So, but I just brought us, uh, I brought him a ham and cheese sandwich. And I brought myself a turkey and Swiss avocado sandwich. I don't like making the love line. Um, I used the smart buns, which I talk about in the keto blog, but that's what I used today. I find that I can have one of those every now and then. I can't have them every day or several times a week, but one every now and then or once a week, I, I it's okay. Um, it causes a little twinge, but not, not anything bad. Now, if I have two in a row, or two in one day, or which, why would you, but, um, I find that it causes some discomfort. Mr. Truck, I'm going the speed limit. So, and there is a vehicle in front of me, so, can't really help you. There he goes. Anyway, um. Why is it when you're driving is when something is in your eye? That always is the case. I feel like there is something in my eye. So. All right, well, I just wanted to check in. It's gonna have to sit here and record for a little bit because I'm on the freeway and I'm not touching my phone. So I'll just cut it when I'm done talking to you. So. These sunglasses are what I got in my Balzano bag last, not not the one you will have just seen or are about to see. I don't know if it's up yet or not. The one I got before. Um, and I kind of like them. They're, they're fun. They're lighter than what I, like the darkness. Oh, what is the word I'm looking for? The shade depth, the tinting is not as dark as I'm used to, um, but that's fine. It, 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 they're fine. They have a nice weight to them and they fit um, so they're perfect for the office because I'll be going in and out of the sun and um, I'll still be able to see inside with them on, which I appreciate. So, Anyway, my Balzano bag, which you may or may not have seen, I have with me. I switched it out so I could carry it today. I really like it. Um, it's a great bag for me. very tired. All right. I'm going to stop talking and I will cut it and I'm not touching my phone. So it's probably going to record for a few more minutes. Hello. It is Saturday. Almost said Sunday. Saturday, the 17th of August, 318 um, in the afternoon, 95 degrees outside. How are you today? I have been so busy today. I got up, I was editing the weekly vlog that is actually going to post tomorrow for me and last week for you. And um, let's see what else. I cleaned up my kitchen. I kind of reorganized my countertops. They're driving me crazy. I, I, it's driving me crazy. The organization in my house is not working and I need to redo it. I, you know, I watched Miss Erica, um, the way she organized, I think we think like on the same kind of wavelength. So I've been watching a lot of the way she's organizing her pantry and stuff like that. And I'm thinking that's kind of the direction I need to go. Like my cooking pantry is really annoying me. My baking pantry where all my flowers and sugars and things like that they're really bothering me i redid my corner cabinet recently and that one's okay my upper corner cabinet my lower corner cabinet 
first of all, it's so hard to get in there. And second of all, it's so full of appliances I use, things I use, but it's really cumbersome to get into. And there's nothing I can do about it. I've reorganized that thing 10 different times. It's just, it is what it is. So, cause I don't like this stuff out on my countertops. If I could squeeze my air fryer in there, I would. <laughs> so this is what I did. So. I've shown you, look, I spilled this. I need to clean that up. I'm, I'm about to, when I vacuum, I'll vacuum it out. Um, this is where it is now, and I'm just not real happy with it. This I picked up in the Amazon sale, and it's okay, but it's actually going to go in my packing stuff. Um, it's small, that's one of the reasons why I wanted it, is to take it on a cruise ship with me, and um, it's perfect. It, it works well for that, and that's what it's gonna go for. Um, so you guys know I removed all my cookbooks and this is how this section looks now. It's still bothering me. My microwave has streaks on it. But this is this cabinet. It's okay, I can't reach that stuff up there. So I don't really use it. Oh, that cup fell down. Um, I don't really use anything up there. I use that, my pans, my mixing bowls. Um, but I can't reach anything there. But this is working for me, finally. This is actually working for me. Um, oh, these I need to put in, in there. So that's okay, that's working. But you see this? You see, I can't move this. My microwave is there, and that's what makes these things this cumbersome to get into is I can't open this anymore. So you kind of have to squeeze in here if you need anything up there. So this cabinet just doesn't, it's just frustrating. So the point to all of this is, do you want to see uh, your crooked? Ha! Do you want to see some organizing videos? I just really, you know, are you interested in that kind of thing? But here's, here's the deal. Um, it's not great, the before because it's, we've just been working so much that things are piling up. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, and being the type of channel that I have, you accumulate stuff quite easily. So um, yeah, and I, I'm going, my clothes, none of my clothes fit anymore. So very few of them, even clothes I've just recently purchased now are too big. So I'm having a little trouble with that. So. A couple of the girls have come up with ideas of doing a Poshmark video, and are you interested in that kind of thing? I don't, I don't know. I have a hard time with Poshmark too because if I sold somebody something and it had a single cat hair on it, I would be mortified. But coming from my house, that is going to be nearly impossible to avoid. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, um, maybe I could take them from straight from a dry cleaner to. I don't know, I'll figure it out. So just let me know, let me know if you're interested in that. So today we are about to run to Costco and get the coffee ground, because I totally forgot, and we're gonna go to Walmart, pick up my prescription for my eyes and my contacts, and we've officially, I have officially decided on some contacts that work for me. They're not perfect, they're not going to be perfect. There is no way to give me a perfect, perfect prescription for contacts. Um, even in my glasses, it's difficult to achieve my prescription. Um, my, in my glasses, my distance is still not great. It's not great with my contacts either. It's just not a whole lot they can do about it. So, um, so my contacts are doing pretty well. I can drive now, I can see, you know, I can see. So, and sometimes I do have to squint a little bit, but that's okay, I don't mind that. Squinting and still being able to see, although they say that does absolutely no good. It does too, it makes things focus for me. Anyway, okay, so that's all. I'm gonna get back to editing. I'm finishing the laundry, then I gotta vacuum this whole house and tidy up the bathrooms. And um, how often do you clean your bathrooms? I clean, clean my bathrooms on Thursdays and then I tidy them every other day, except the master bath. There is stuff on the countertop and I have got to find some organization in there too. Oh, so much skincare. So much skincare. <laughs> I gotta figure that out. Hello. Hello. We are in the car, Ross driving. Let me unblock the mirror. I'm on my phone, my Osmo's in my purse, but I didn't wanna grab it and pull it out. So, um, we were just out and about. Uh, we had to run to Costco because I had forgotten to grind my coffee last week. 
when we went to Costco, so I went and did that very quickly. And um, coffee grinding machines in public always gross me out. Oh, they just gross me out. It always worries me that somebody will use like a glutinous coffee in them. I don't know, even though it's really rare to find a coffee with gluten in it. Just saying. Anyway, so Chandler would like Freddy's for dinner. So, because I'm gonna eat at home tonight, I'm letting the boys, I'm letting. The boys are having a special treat tonight to eat out. Um, ooh. We never eat out, like very rarely do we eat out now, and that's all because of me. And I feel bad, and I know Except often- Except last Friday when I had pizza. Oh you, had oh, you did have pizza last Friday, yeah. That's okay. I think that they should have a treat. You know, I, I think that- Yellow. Right, I think that Rob should get a treat. Ooh, you know they have, they brought mozzarella cheese sticks here or something. Do you know what Jenna wants? Oh, I gotta make the order one second. Okay, so we got that ordered. He likes the number one. What do you like from Freddy's? Do you have Freddy's where you are? I love Freddy's. Here, I'll show you Freddy's. I'll show you the drive-through anyway. I mean, that's all I can show you right now is the drive-through. I like the interior of the restaurant where they've got all the pictures of Freddy's from his childhood and it's just really pretty cool on the inside. Yeah, it's very good. Um, it's very similar to a steak and shake, although I do prefer steak and shake a hair better, and that is because you can get a fried egg on your burger. So what am I having for dinner tonight? I am actually going home to cook myself a burger. Um, it's just too risky for me to eat out. There's so much research that goes into it, and I have to ask so many questions. It's just really gotten to the point where it's not enjoyable for me to eat out and nine times out of ten I have a reaction to it and I just I'm just not feeling it anymore so I just eat at home and um, but I want my boys to eat out when they want to eat out you know they enjoy it right yes yes so I find the alternative and make it at home and so I'm gonna have a burger tonight but if you guys have been in our Facebook community, you know he has been wanting to try the Burger King tacos. Yes. So he is going to get to try the Burger King tacos tonight, and we will get his opinion on the Burger King tacos. Yes. So now, if you live in Texas or anywhere where there's a Jack in the Box, I don't know where they are. I just know we do definitely have them here in Texas. I think they're in, like, Tennessee also, different parts. No idea. I don't know. They're supposed to be, the Burger King tacos are supposed to be like the Jack in the Box tacos. So I don't know, we'll see. I love Jack in the Box tacos, but they are neither gluten free, <laughs> nor corn free, nor grain free. Who knows what's in that meat? I don't know, but it's tasty. <laughs> it's pasty and it's tasty. <laughs> yeah, there's just something about two tacos for 99 cents for 30 years. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're turning a profit on it. Yeah, exactly. Just don't question, just yep. enjoy. <laughs> but I think they're up to two tacos for $1.19 now. So. Ooh! <laughs> oh, hey, and they're still making a profit. Yep. Anyway, so, yeah, I have this running list of foods that if I can ever eat gluten again, those are the foods that I would eat. Like, if somebody, like, suddenly came out with an allergy shot for gluten and said, okay, if you take these shots, you know, like they have for dogs and cats and stuff, when <laughs> you take these shots, you'll be able to eat gluten again the list is growing jack in the box tacos is on that list chick-fil-a chicken nuggets shipley's donuts brother's all of pizza. them brother's pizza rosa's baked ziti and all the tex-mex food i can possibly fit into my body <laughs> so that's my list um sardo's sardo's pizza i've never gotten to try it i like I've never gotten to try it. I, I want to try it. It's very tasty. Yeah. And also, um, the other one, Post Corner Pizza, I want to try that. They have a thick crust pizza I want to try there. Yeah. And um, those two are in Florida. Sardo's and Post Corner. Uh, Post Corner's on Clearwater Beach and Sardo's is um, in, in Largo. Largo. And so if you live anywhere near those places, go. Post Corner has the best Greek salad. They put a big old slab of homemade feta on top. I can't even tell you how delicious it is. It is so good. There's a very strong Greek population in um, Clearwater because the... Thank you so much. You have a great evening. The uh, sponge, those who made sponge, who uh, collected sponge divers. sponge divers. Yeah, I get it out eventually. That's why he's here. So he can help me speak. <laughs> um, settled there. And Greek sponge divers settled there. Um, and um, so they, 
there's lots of Greek restaurants there, which is fantastic. Okay, so now we're gonna take this home to Chandler and then we're gonna go to Burger King. So we will see you back at the house and um, let you know what Rob thinks of his tacos. If you're having a hard time hearing me, I know my, I don't know what is going on. So I'm gonna try and adjust the sound, but hopefully it's not too bad since we're in the car and not in a grocery store. I know that was annoying last week. Be right back. Well? Actually pretty good. They're very much like Jack in the Box tacos, so. Good, I'm glad. Very tasty. Enjoy. I shall. I'm going to have, I was gonna make a burger, but I think I'm going to have a Quest frozen pizza. And tonight, tomorrow night, I will get back in the kitchen and cooking. I just, I'm tired. And I have a premiere tonight with a, for a friend's channel and we have just stuff going on. So I think I'll make it quick and easy tonight. Good Sunday morning. It is 1036, the 18th of August, 89 degrees outside. It's already disgusting hot outside. Rob has just come inside from working on the outside stuff. I know I am an absolute mess, but I'm going to stay that way today. We're hoping to get in the pool in a little bit. Um, I woke up with a pretty bad headache this morning, so I'm trying to nurse that for a little bit. And then we're hoping to get in the pool, have some fun this afternoon. I have my Grove here, and I don't think I'm gonna do a separate video on it this month. I'm just gonna show you here. Um, I ordered this, the new collection of the Mrs. Myers Fall came out. Ooh, everything's powdery. Ooh, I wonder what's leaking in here. Something's powdery. Oh, it's the borax, okay. Oh, thank goodness that came in because I ran out yesterday. Okay, so this is the Compassion Flower. This is the room scent, the room spray, the um, hand soap, dish soap, which I use for hand soap too, and the surface cleaner. So let's just give this a sniff. That's like a, uh, yeah, I like that. It has a soapy scent to it. It smells like soap floral soapy scent if that makes any sense so there's all of that um i will won't probably won't be ordering any more than mrs meyer's uh fall scents or anything like that i think i'm good with this one i want to find the one in target it's like a an acorn scent or something i don't know hey it's heather mentioned it and i do want to try that one. Oh, my tea is way down here at the bottom of this box so it's been stomped on this is the organic camo blend. I really like this. I get either this one or the breakfast tea, breakfast blend. I'll get it once a month um, when I order, but um, I really like it. I like it. It's tasty. It's very good. It's, it's a stronger chamomile tea, which I like. Hmm, why did I get the spray bottle? Oh, it must come with the floor. I didn't realize I got another spray. I don't need another spray bottle. Um, hmm. That's okay. Uh, this is the floor cleaner. Did they put the wrong thing in here? Cause I know I didn't order the spray bottle. They may have put the wrong thing in here. I'm gonna shoot them an email and ask why I have that in there. But um, this is, oh, I, no, nix that. I remember now. Okay, this is the floor cleaner. I really like this stuff. It's concentrate. It's fantastic on my floors. It doesn't leave any streaks. You guys know I have all tile floors and they're dark, so they leave streaks. It's just a two pack in here. And this stuff is fantastic for my floors. Um, I just really like it. This is the lavender and thyme scent. I use it around the dog's water bowl because they get water everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> I, I mean, I could run around with my mop all day long every day and still not run out of things to mop after they've had something to drink. This now remember is the new Grove shower spray. So we use um, the Method shower spray. I've been using it for years now. I don't know how long. And Grove has one now. So I just wanted to try theirs and see how theirs works. So uh, the thing I like about the Method is I actually only have to use it like every other shower now. I think there's enough coating on my shower door or something, I don't know, but I only use it every other time now and it's still working fantastically. So that's the spray bottle that comes in here. There you go, it's just a glass spray bottle. I do wish they were plastic, but I understand why they're glass. I just don't like that they're glass, especially in the shower. I tend to drop things. Um, there will be one of these in just about every single 
order I get or every other order. Um, it is the three in one Oxy Booster Packs. I love them, absolutely love them. And um, the Aunt Fanny's Cleaning Vinegar Wipes. I like these, I like these for my stainless steel. I use it on my cabinets, I use it on my granite. I don't use them every single day because I feel like that's a little expensive. There's 35 wipes in here, but um, for my vent hood, which needs to be wiped down now, this is a good one. And then here's the Method Shower Spray because I was actually out. <laughs> so just in case that one doesn't work, we still have this one. And apparently there's two of them. We have two showers. Mm, borax, because I absolutely love it. I put it with my towels, with my rugs, with my dog stuff, and my laundry detergent. And I just feel like it makes everything so much better. Everything comes out cleaner, fresher. Absolutely love it. Okay, now this I don't normally buy, but they had it on sale, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I really like the Method Laundry Detergent, but I don't use it for anything but like the linens, um, towels, things like that. Things that don't get, that aren't used when we get real sweaty in the summertime. Um, but it's on sale, this was on sale, so I went ahead and picked it up uh, to prepare us for the fall. I really like this scent, which is the ginger, isn't it ginger? Ginger mango, I really like it. So I got this and this, it came in a two pack. So, and the sale was for the two pack. The scent boosters, of course, I'm gonna use the scent boosters. I love them, I love the scent. And I bought two of them because like I said, they were on sale. And then here is the fabric softener. Now, you don't have to use very much of this in order to wash a full load of laundry, but I do use double what it calls for because I have pets and I feel like my towels and you know linens and things like that need a little extra. Even though they say you don't have to, that's just me, that's what I do, so I double it. I double what it calls for. Then I use the scent boosters and I use the fabric softer. Okay, one second. And right, I'm gonna go put all this away and then I have something else to show you. What are you doing? Are you being cute? You're being cute? Your brother's coming over. <gasps> Wait, oh. You're giving everybody all your belly? Mama, you can come say hi a little bit. You can come say hi. A little bit. Do you know how much of your hair is on my rug? Yes. I'm about to vacuum it all up. Oh, you getting kisses, Moses? You get kisses. Oh, a little bit. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. He's coming to say hi to you. Moses. I know. I know. I know. Oh, oh. Our daddy is out front with another dog. We are not happy about it. Fafa, Addy, what's daddy doing? Cheating on me. Come on, don't cheat on me. What are you doing, little brat? What are you doing? Making a mess on the carpet? Huh? Addy, it's okay. It's okay. Mama, you had to come see too? You had to come see too? You you getting in there, little dog? It's just a little chihuahua out front who has lost his home and Rob's gonna go find its owner. <laughs> they are just intent. That's my daddy. Okay, I had to go do something with the hair and the makeup because uh, when I get headaches like this, my eyes just look so sick sulkin and sullen and sunken in. I just was like, I gotta put some color on my face and maybe I'll feel better. And I do feel a little bit better. So, um, this is the Tilly Try It, Love It by Lauren McBride, or this is the Lauren McBride edition. This is from QVC. It's actually the one and only thing I've ever picked up from QVC. Um, but I wanted to try it out for a couple of reasons. Um, she says, okay, so this, hey girl, I'm a life and style blogger, Lauren McBride, and I'm so excited for you to get your hands on this box. I'm thrilled to have collaborated with QVC to curate this box of some of our combined favorite beauty items. A few of my favorites include, and they go through the list. So here's the box, and I think it's really pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna keep this box. Um, I may do, I don't know, 
I don't know what I'll put in here. Something. Everything in this box is sandy and dusty because of one of the items in here. So we're gonna get it out first, which is this. I'm going to save this because we're gonna be in a suite on the Carnival Freedom in, speaking of which, we need to make that phone call. I'll do that. Don't let me forget, okay? Bless you. I need to make that phone call, so don't let me forget, okay? Um, this is Fizz and Bubbles Large Bath Fizzies. In there, they have a bathtub. I don't, I don't, I have a bathtub at home, but it's like not a big one. It's in my guest bathroom. Um, it's, it's coconut scent. It definitely smells like coconut. Um, this says ultra moisturizing eight oil blends that include a fusion of aloe vera, coconut, grapeseed, sweet almond, uh, olive, avocado, sunflower, and jojoba oils, combined with Epsom salt, vitamin E, and mica clay. So, there you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it over here. Everything is just covered in the dust from that. All right. And this is La Vanilla. Little sample. La Vanilla, the healthy fragrance, uh, blends exotic essential oils with skin soothing botanicals, applied directly onto the skin. All right, well. Smells very vanilla-y. Okay, I will definitely hang on to that. It's nice, it's very, it's that sickly sweet vanilla, but that doesn't bother me. Okay, I'm not gonna open this. We just got this in the Boxy Charm. This is a small little sample of this. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, and this is uh, impregnated with, um, uh, or infused with uh, glycerin, which is supposedly more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. Um, finish with 50% water and glycerin. This powder creates a mist-like sensation on skin for a seamless finish and comfortable feel. Yep, I just don't like it under my eyes. It feels like it dries out under my eyes. So, there we go. That'll be in a giveaway coming up because I already have a full size. You're fine, honey. What are you watching? Something that I'll show you. Oh, must be cruise related. A private island, perhaps? Um, and this is Paracone MD Super Green Supplement Powder. Um, great tasting supplement drink powder with a blend of 11 vegetables including kale, spinach, and watercress as a probiotic phytonutrients plus it's packed with vitamins A, C, D, B12, and B12, B6, B12, and biotin. One packet with six to eight ounces of water every day. Um, I'm gonna do a little research on this, make sure it's something I can actually, you know, eat because I, I have so many restrictions, so. Um, but sure, I'll try it, why not? It's powdery. <laughs> feels disgusting because of that bomb. This is Origins Checks and Balances. I love this stuff. This is my most favorite face wash. Um, I've never purchased it. I always get it in samples, and I mean, you just need a tiny little bit of it. It's the one I like to use in the morning. Uh, Checks and Balances face wash formulated with broadleaf, kelp extract, wheat, protein. <laughs> Great, <laughs> maybe that's why I get sick, who knows? And tourmaline. Tourmaline. This face wash um, plus the aroma of bergamot, spearmint, and lavender. Interesting. There's lots of chemicals in this. Hmm. I'm gonna read about that then. Uh, this is Sunday Riley, CEO. I can't see it on there. Sunday Riley, CEO Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Vitamin C and my eyes do not get along. When I try and use vitamin C serums on my face, my eyes water all day long, no matter where I put it on my face. So I will use this on my arms where I have a lot of sun damage. Um, and this is, the serum is targeted to improve the look of dullness. Hydrating formula illuminates the complexion so skin looks useful. So there you go, okay. And then this I'm excited about. Oh, I put lip gloss on. I wish I hadn't. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a lot of them. This is Moxie. I, I want, I'm excited to try this. Uh, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. What color is this? This is um, Crowd Suit Surfer. Crowd Surfer, yeah. Let's see what color this is. Oh, ooh, hold on. It seriously is covered in just Okay, that is pink, 
sparkly pink, but normally in a lip gloss, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it's minty. Oh, minty. Rob is laughing at me. Yeah. And this is what I really was very interested in. Again, so dusty. This is called Pop Sonic Leaf Pop Sonic Leaf Sonic Facial Cleansing Device. This I was very interested in. This cost so much more than the box, and that's, I was like, well, the box is $19, and this is $35. So, but it's, a, it has a texture to it, and it feels like it would be fine up under my eyes and stuff when I, especially if I need to exfoliate under there, but listen, it like, oh, I hate that feeling. It vibrates. I really hate that feeling, so I'm gonna have to put it in a washcloth, ah, oh, and, use it but it has all this texture on it so I was very interested in that although I wasn't expecting to hate that feeling as much as I do I have never oh, I just can't stand the way that feels so anyway my husband is laughing at me oh yes yes he is but so we're gonna try this out okay that's it that's all that's in this box and um, I'll put on the screen exactly how much it was. I think it was $19.99. And then if you're a brand new QVC customer, you got an additional $5 off. Um, so there you go. All right. So we're going to give this box another month, just like the Test Tube Beauty from H. I think that's HSN. Isn't that where that one's from? It may be their own line now. It used to be from them. So and then ugh, once... Um, once we've tried them out a couple of months each, then we're going to nix them. But I just wanted to bring it to the channel and show you, and so we could try it out. Okay, so I'm going to go put all this stuff away and get this powder off my hands. And um, then I'm going to vacuum the house and clean the bathrooms. And then I'm hoping we can swim a little bit. Just get out there. I put my sunscreen makeup on today, and I need to do a get ready with me on with this stuff because I always forget how much I like it when I use something different and then come back to it. Okay. Be right back. Well, it is now 3.23 and we are getting in the pool. It is H-O-T hot in Texas. Time to get in the pool. Rob's working on cleaning the pool. That's what he does. He scrubs the grout and stuff like that. A lot. <laughs> it's Texas, and I, I don't know if that has anything to do with Texas, but I know all my friends with pools, they have trouble. We have to scrub the calcium buildup, and a lot of us don't like to put the extra chemicals in the pool that prevent it. Um, there, there is a way to prevent it, but I don't, I just don't like to add anything more than you absolutely have to have. So Rob takes the extra step to scrub it off instead of putting a chemical in it to prevent it. It's just kind of what we prefer. So um, we had a salt pool before this one um, and we loved it. We absolutely loved it. But with all the stonework, we can't have salt because it sort of disintegrates the, um, the limestone or the stonework. So um, that doesn't mean that that might not change when we remodel the pool in a couple years. So. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we go with then. We're also considering adding a heater to the pool, but 
I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. Who knows? When I say remodel the pool, I just mean we're gonna change up the tile and replaster it and all that stuff. No, nothing major. Well, I mean, not too major. <laughs> all right, see you in a minute.